theory the cut that you did showed me that I don't know why you've not done your revision with the one off, but we, we need to repeat this <laughs> identify seven teachings about human beings from the creation story created in the image and likeness of God. Most of you wrote about it. They have been given authority and dominion over God's creation. What do we mean when we see they've been given dominion over God's creation? Huh? Authority, yes, but here they say they've been given authority at the same time dominion over God's creation. That is, they, they have power over the rest of the creation. They communicate and fellowship with God. They are special creation of God. They are special creation of God. They have the ability to think, to reason, and make decisions in their lives. They are blessed by God. <coughs> Another teaching from the creation of stories is that they were given the Garden of Eden. They were given a special place to stay. That is, you, have to, you just have to say this. They were given the Garden of Eden. Human beings are to use other creations for their benefit. Some of the students wrote that and I liked it. They are to make good care of the creation. <laughs> that is, sorry, they have to take good care of the creation. Human beings are to procreate through marriage. Kindly, some of you don't know procreation is filling the earth. They were writing as different points. I don't know whether they, they did not revise or what was happening. I did not understand. Men and women are to complement each other. They were created to complement each other. Man and woman were created to complement each other. And then the woman is created out of man's rib. So those are the correct answers. Question 1B, what were the effects of sin on Adam and Eve? Seven marks. And this question was repeated. It's usually very easy. I don't know why. What were the effects? What were the results? Yes. They started dying, yet they were to live forever. Or well, some of you were saying that human beings became prone to us, to death, which is okay. Or you can also say death came upon human beings. It's still the same point. People who were doing it were, were really doing it well. <coughs> they became afraid of God. Or rather, you can just say they hid when he called them. Yes? They lost authority over the other creation. <coughs> Equality between the two was put up or put upon. That is, man was to rule over the what? The woman. Or some of you are saying that uh, the woman is subordinate to who? to man, which is okay. Also, the woman was to be in pain when giving birth. They had developed an enmity between them and animals. 
That is it. The, there was an and the enmity developed between human beings and what animals, or you can just di directly say human beings and the serpent. Also, Adam and Eve became embarrassed because of their nakedness. They became embarrassed because of their nakedness. They were expelled out of the Garden of Eden. They were expelled out of the Garden of Eden. And then mistrust between the two developed. There are many other correct points. Question C, how did the ceremonies connected to death foster unity in the traditional African society? Number one, what I discovered is that you did not understand the question. Those who understand, it was very easy for them. So the, the ceremony or the aspect of death in the traditional African society, how does it show what? Unity, that is what you ask. How does it show unity? Even today, how does it show unity? You go there to do what? For the ceremony, yes? You go there to bury the what? What do you do during that ceremony? You sing what? Songs. You comfort the what? The believed. What else do you do? Huh? Others were telling me you feast. Yes! You feast. All these points, you, you, you know now you have them, but you did not know how to... You did not know when you, you, you have to understand the questions so that you can an answer it. So number one, friends and relatives come together to console each other. Or you can just say they come together to console each other, friends and relatives. And it, that is what usually happens. They come together to, to console each other, that is friends and relatives. Or people can go to, to bury someone they do not know. No. <coughs> they have to be a friend or what? A relative. And then number two, people help organize the funeral and the feeding. They help in organizing the funeral and feeding relatives. They help organize the funeral and feeding relatives. <coughs> Prayers and sacrifices were made to accept the dead into the world of the spirits. So you just say in basic terms that prayers and sacrifices are what? Are, 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 were done or were made. And this was to accept uh, the dead into the world of the spirits. And then relatives and friends gather together to bid farewell to the departed. Why do they come together together to bid farewell? Especially if you, I don't want to talk about a specific tribe. They come together and cry around the what? Around there, the coffin, yes? They are bidding farewell. What they say is that they are bidding farewell to the what? To the departed. That is why we are saying relatives and friends gather together to bid farewell to the departed. Wives were inherited by close relatives. That is in some communities, not all communities. In some communities, the wives were inherited by, by close relatives. So they can be able to bear children for the bereaved or for the one who has departed. So wives were inherited. Number six, songs and dance. To show anger towards the dead. Songs and dance to show anger towards the dead. Or if you want to explain the whole sentence, you can just say relatives joined in song and dance to depict anger towards the dead. Towards death. Question 
2A, reasons why sex education was taught by grandparents in the African traditional societies. <coughs> why was sex taught by grandparents? Here there were many, very many funny answers. I do not want to talk about them. People are really imaginative. They had ample time with their children. They had ample time. Ample is A-M-P-L-E, ample time with their children, with their grandchildren, sorry. And I've discovered most of you have a lot of spelling mistakes. I do not know why, but you should look into it. They were free with their grandchildren. So if you're free with someone, you can tell them anything, or you can discuss with them anything. So they were free with their grandchildren. They had enough experience on the topic. Or you can just say they had enough knowledge and experience on the topic. Most of you wrote this point, which was very good. In some communities, parents were not allowed to discuss sexual matters with their children. Parents were not allowed to discuss sex matters with their children. <coughs> the youth took their teachings very seriously when they were taught by their Grandparents, they took the teachings very serious. Also, another reason why uh, sex education was taught by grandparents is because they had enough skills to communicate effectively. So that means the grandparents had enough skills to communicate with the young ones effectively. So it's all about they had the skills to communicate effectively to the young ones. It was their role, it was the role of the grandparents to teach the young on such matters. What is God's plan of salvation for you human beings in the Old Testament? Yes? <coughs> that is after sinning, there, there is uh, how uh, human beings are trying to be saved. Number one, is God looked for Adam and Eve after they had sinned. After now they've taken the forbidden, they've taken the fruit from the forbidden tree, God looked for Adam and Eve. So he looked for them after they had sinned. God provided them with clothes. That is, he provided them with clothes after them. That is, Adam and Eve discovered they were what? They were naked. So God provided them with clothes. He called Abraham <coughs> with the aim of saving nations. <coughs> God sent his prophets to guide and correct people. He gave the Ten Commandments to guide people. He planned to send a Messiah to save humankind. He 
He planned through his prophets to make a new covenant with them. He planned through his prophets to make a new covenant with them. Other points that were correct that, I, that I, they, they are not here indicated here is that uh, God said, oh, God promised that he will not destroy human beings again with what? With Noah. With, uh, with water, yes? Yes, and people are saying, after Noah, he saved Noah and the wife. During the flood, hey, it is not correct. You see that he promised that he would. He's going to do what? He will not destroy human beings with water again. 